Have the Giants done enough to improve the defense? Before you know it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any San Francisco Giants news. This week marks the start of spring training, with the Giants pitchers and catchers holding their first workout on Thursday at Scottsdale Stadium. Despite missing out on top free agents Aaron Judge and Carlos Correa, the Giants have invested $193.65 million in seven free agents whom they hope will help them improve on their lackluster .500 finish in 2022. While Fangraph's projection system Zips sees San Francisco finishing third in the National League West with 88 wins in 2023, just three games behind the Dodgers and Padres, baseball prospectus Pakota projections are less optimistic, forecasting only 82 wins for the Giants. Several factors will play a crucial role in determining whether the 2023 Giants will reach their potential, with defense being a significant concern, particularly due to the new restrictions on infield shifts. The Giants suffered from poor defense in 2022, ranking 28th in the majors with minus 33 outs above average and 30th with minus 53 defensive runs saved. Their inability to convert enough ground balls into outs repeatedly hurt their impressive starting rotation, which led the NL with a 3.43 FIP last season. However, it remains unclear if the Giants have adequately addressed this weakness during the offseason. President of Baseball Operations Farhan Zaidi had repeatedly stated his intention to prioritize adding up the middle players with more range and athleticism, but the Giants failed to acquire any free agents at premium positions following the collapse of their deal with Korea. The club's veteran infielders, Brandon Belt and Evan Longoria, who were among their better defenders, have departed, and there is little depth behind 36-year-old Brandon Crawford at shortstop. Without a true center fielder, the Giants are expected to rely on Mike Yastrzemski and Austin Slater to split time in the middle of the diamond, while newcomers Michael Conforto and Mitch Hanniger will man the corners. While manager Gabe Kapler acknowledges that the team lacks gold glovers at every position, he remains optimistic that the Giants' defense will be better collectively, particularly in the outfield. Conforto, who is coming off right shoulder surgery, is expected to be an improvement over Jock Peterson, Darren Ruff, and Yerman Mercedes, who combined to post a major league worst minus 20 OAA in left field in 2022. Peterson may still see time in the outfield, but the Giants plan to limit his exposure by giving him more at-bats at designated hitter.